we have a Lorance HDS 10 Gen 2 today. I'm going to show you the navigation settings in the HDS series. So let's hit menu twice. Go into navigation. Once we're in navigation, our first option is arrival radius. I have it set to 0.26 miles. So when we get within 0.26 miles of our destination, the unit's going to let us know. We could change that by hitting enter and then just using the thumb pad to change the numbers. The next thing is cross track error. So first I'm going to start a route so you could see what happens. So we'll do this one here. We'll do it forward. So we got this gray line here. Our boat is going to try to keep us within that gray line. If we go outside of that gray line, we're going to get a cross track error. And the cross track error, we'll go into our navigation menu right here, set to 0 0.06 miles. So if I go and I change it, we'll say to 0.16 miles, hit enter, you'll see the gray bar gets much wider. So now we have much more room until we cause a cross track error. Another option in navigation is trails. If you go into here, you could manage your trails, or known as your trip log or track log. We have our logging type for trails. Right now it's set to auto. We could change that. We could set the distance or time. If we set the distance down here, distance becomes highlighted and you could go down and change it and then same with time now time will become highlighted and distance is grayed out set to currently every five seconds I always like leaving mine on distance usually or auto we have our phantom Loran you can enable or disable Loran through this menu setting then we could go into here and then do our Loran settings So those are the options available to you in the navigation menu of your Lorance HDS Gen 2.